a bitterly cold day here again. It's about minus one, I think. Quite cold. I'm just having a little walk through the local woods, which are coming alive with all the snowdrops and there's loads of crocus everywhere. They uh, they're about to bloom. genuinely feels like walking through a little winter wonderland. Can you see behind me? It's just so beautiful, all those snowdrops, the sunlight shining through the trees. Days like this really make you enjoy winter, that is for sure. God, it's so quiet out here today really really peaceful you can hear the sound of the road but otherwise it's just the it's just the birds and the trees and yeah really calm that pretty much sums up our week really it's been extremely quiet this week it's been uh, a week of doing life admin and other bits and bobs that have needed to be done so we've not really been out a great deal come out for the occasional little wander but that's about it no gardens no big country houses or anything like that um i have somewhere that i'm planning to take you at the weekend hopefully um so we'll see but otherwise nothing to report here it's been blissfully calm and quiet just so therapeutic good for the soul my uh, my neighbor Kath came home the other day and she said that she'd been for a walk up to the church and uh, all the snowdrops were out in bloom so I'm gonna go and check to see to see if I can find them so bright this morning it's hard to film without being in a haze oh, it's nice to see everything emerging though the gardens around here are usually full of rhododendrons and azaleas like here you can see all of the buds starting to appear this is just one of many 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 bushes around here it just turns into a tropical paradise of purple and pinks everywhere. It's nice seeing all the uh, dried leaves and ferns. I quite like dried flowers and leaves. I think that's something I want to try and do a lot more of this year. Um, especially some of the garden flowers that we will be growing at home. It be nice to know that I started those flowers from seed, we've kept them alive and nourished them all summer and then hang them to dry and preserve them um, in autumn and uh, yeah we can make beautiful floral arrangements out of them to use at home. I think it's just a nice little appreciation of their life and to keep them going and I know that flower's entire story and its beauty will still be going on. So I'm going to try and do a lot more of more of that this year. Another thing I really wanted to try and do was flower pressing. Now I have absolutely no idea where to start really. Obviously you press the flower, but um, I think there's a lot more to it than that. If any of you have tried yourself, please do let me know. I think there's certain flowers that press better than others. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, let me know about that because that is something that I really want to try and do this year as well. Oh, so beautiful. Gosh, 
I've woken up so appreciative this morning. I think just getting outdoors really does the head good. Especially mine. I don't get on with winter. So getting outdoors, into nature, into sunshine especially, it does me the world of good. And just noticing the little subtle changes from day to day, from week to week, especially seeing as I go around a lot of the same places um, for the majority of my daily walks, just noticing the little tiny details that have changed from the last time you were there. Mother Nature really does have a way of humbling you and making you feel so appreciative. So this here is the private tomb of the Harrington family, who once owned this estate. Little Robin just sat there. is on half term this week so we've come out for a little mummy and me day um it's somewhere completely new to me that i've never been before it's just a minute up the road from ashford in the water which is one of my favorite villages here in derbyshire which you might have seen me share before it's called thornbridge hall so we're going to investigate this place today These these ones are my favourite. cafe straight away didn't we? Important business. Chocolate ice cream. <laughs> yeah it was first thing on your list. Nice locally made Derbyshire ice cream.
okay? okay. And you have to shout when the timer goes off, okay? Okay. So the three, two, one. one. That took you thirteen seconds. Wow. Thirteen. <laughs> thirteen seconds for me to run over there. Should we do it six and then there? I can't talk. Shall we see if we can do it faster? Okay, hold on. Whoever gets one. The one? You'll be a world record runner. All right. I'm going to do this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was 9.86 seconds. Nine seconds. Nine, wait, just over nine seconds, yeah. That's speedy. It's a really nice garden here. We're actually enjoying it. It's quite kid friendly. We've got a little map of um, animal posters that we need to find on our way around. There's uh, loads of animals that we can go and have a look at. And um, I've also discovered a little play centre. Um, yeah, oh Heidi God, and I are enjoying this. It's really nice. See what we can find. Let's see if we can find a little froggy poster by these little ponds. This will be way better fun. Is this your castle? Yeah. Alright, take it off then. And I've got three of them ticked off. You found three? Yep. Yeah. Which ones have you found? The duck, the rabbit, and the cat. And the cat. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can find some more. I want to find the froggy. Come on then. Maybe down by the water, do you think? Yeah. Come on. I've just spotted in this field all of these clumps of daffodils. Looks like there's a couple out already. That's going to look really pretty in a few weeks. Oh, Heidi is dashing off. Found light chicky. Tick. A light tick, that's fine. Let's see who else we can find. Oh, I wish I had that energy. These going to be Heidi? Daffodils. Daffodils. You know. A little one out already. Yeah. What are those flowers? Um, snowdrops. Snowdrops, that's I've right. Actually, well done. My, I've actually got a daffodil. I've got the same two flowers. Only only one of each at my school. Do you? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yes. Yeah. Heidi and I have come out today to a little place called Hopton Hall. I think it's still um, lived in by family, so it's not open all the time, although they do have holiday cottages on the estate. Um, but yeah, I think it's still a family home, but they do open up for snowdrop season because the surrounding land is absolutely covered in swathes of of uh, snowdrops that just carpet the woodland floor. It's beautiful. So uh, Heidi and I are here just having a little wander around. Heidi's busy getting some photos. Hi. Can I say good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? I've been taking lots of pictures. You have, haven't Pretty you? Pretty pictures. You like doing that? I I'm just going to show you something. Okay, bye. Look. That is beautiful, isn't it? Look at this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright. So we've got that one. That one. That one. That one. He's loving having my, uh, having my other camera. He's taking loads of photos, which is lovely. I want to encourage more of that. <laughs> Here she comes. It's nice to get out at the moment. Now that she's on half term, she gets so bored at home. So it's just nice to visit somewhere new. I don't know anyone that's actually been to this place before. <laughs> and he's just spotted some hellebores. I might go a little bit closer. Heidi's having a great time, just wandering around, taking photos. I'm trying to teach her to, uh, to look out for all the small little details which make up the bigger picture. And she's doing really well, learning how to compose an image and learning about the different lighting. Yeah, I'm proud of her. It's nice to encourage her as well, especially like, artistically. She is really, really artistically minded so it's nice to encourage that she's off <laughs> Fuzzy moss. Oh, Heidi's got some goodies. Yep. Moss and bark. Bark. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> 